What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be going over a very highly uh, delayed video. I was gonna say anticipated, but that's definitely not right. Of my 2022 Ford Bronco. So here it is guys, here is my 2022 Ford Bronco. Sorry if there's any wind noise, by the way. I really wanted to make this video right after I got the thing when it looked like this. But now here we are eight months later and uh, we've done a lot of stuff to it from wheels, lights, wild track grill, full tent all the way around, including the windshield, steps, and more lights, and more lights. So I'm gonna film back in the garage because it's a little bit less windy in here than it is out there, of course. But anyways, yeah, so I've had the Bronco for eight months now and it has been great. It's been really, really great. Um, it, almost everything that I was hoping for, but there's definitely some things that I'm gonna talk about in this video as to why it hasn't been everything that I've wanted. So before we get to the review, I feel like I need to give a little bit of backstory uh, as to how we got here in the first place. And I'll try to be brief, but uh, if you're familiar with my channel, then you know how my stories usually go. So it was back in 2020 when I was looking into getting something else. I had my uh, 2015 uh, F-150, if you guys recall. Uh, and it was great. I absolutely love that truck. Uh, I missed that truck just a little bit, but I was like, eh, a truck is fantastic. This is really cool, but I want something new. I want something newer, something new that I can make content with. And that's around the time that Ford debuted the new F-150. And I was like, perfect, this is gonna be great. But then I was actually thinking, you know, a Jeep fits my lifestyle a little bit more. Maybe I should switch to something like that. But I was like, you know, if Ford made a Jeep, then that would be honestly ideal. I love the UI that goes with Ford, the, uh, their sync system. It worked enough. I was familiar with it. You know, I'm a Ford guy for the most part. So uh, my family's always had Fords. And so uh, I think it was July 7th or something like that, Ford debuted the new Bronco. So about three weeks later, I was on my trip to Colorado and I put my order in. Nearly two years later, one year and 11 months later, I finally picked up uh, this iconic silver Bronco. Look at it. <laughs> I was thinking, how can I get every single feature that I want uh, while also making it affordable and uh, to be buildable. I wanted to make sure that I could literally do it all myself. So of course, at the time, as you guys know, I'm sure you're aware, the only way to get a new Bronco really over the last few years, uh, unless you wanted to pay insane markups, was to go to Ford's website, build and price. And that's exactly what I did. So I bought this Bronco at uh, Community Ford of Mooresville, Indiana. That's the same place I bought my truck at, which uh, they were good, but dealerships as a whole, they're frustrating. You know how dealerships are. I was lucky enough to get mine at MSRP, which is fantastic, which came in about $46,500 or so, give or take. My Bronco is a 2022, because it was pushed back by an another year, with the Big Bend trim and the mid package. I went with the Big Bend because I was uh, able to basically get all the features that I wanted while still not going all the way up in the trim levels and not having to pay an astronomical price for the things that I wanted. And I knew that Ford was advertising this vehicle as something that was gonna be super customizable and uh, you know this channel, I really wanted to make it customizable and make it my own. It's like a baby. I literally <laughs> yeah. birthed this. Okay, so now we're in the inside of the Bronco and it's the next day. And uh, here's some of my likes and dislikes about the inside of the Bronco after eight months or so. So one of my favorite things about the inside of the Bronco is honestly the interior. I mean, while it's definitely a lot more cramped than my F-150, it uh, it's, looks very modular, looks really cool. Uh, all of the surfaces, I mean, while they are typical cheap materials, they, they work. Uh, it, they all make sense. So while they are all typical uh, cheap, squeaky, hard plastic to some extent, uh, generally speaking, for what the truck is and how much it was worth, uh, uh, the surfaces are nice. And I like the placement of everything. You can definitely tell that Ford really, really thought out the interior. And uh, there's definitely another thing that they're really proud of. That's all of the branding. It is literally everywhere in this truck. I do like this little Ford plate right here that comes along with every Bronco. And the Bronco Raptor, I think, is a little bit different. And of course, the little Easter eggs are fun with the uh, code and stuff uh, with the little mountains of uh, Johnson Valley where they tested the Bronco and debuted it uh, all the way back in 2020. I, of course, did option my Bronco with the auxiliary switches, which are super cool and a lot of fun to play with. 
uh, and I currently only have my first four hooked up. Uh, so obviously I've got my Ford Performance rigid lights right there. And then I've got the, the Diodynamics uh, fog pocket light kit, whatever it is, whatever it's called, in the front of the truck. And that op that is uh, the first three switches right here. Excuse the light in the background. Still shooting on my iPhone, of course. But one of the dislikes that I have about the interior of the Bronco is, I mean, obviously the roof comes off, which is great. I do love that the roof comes off. It's fantastic. But obviously something that I personally am not used to is the squeaking and the noise and stuff that comes from the interior. So back in December of last year, my fiance and I made a drive up to her family's house up in Chicago, and there was a lot of crosswinds on the highway, and the wind was coming in, sort of, at least a very, very noisy squeak uh, or whine or whatever it was, was coming through this section uh, of the roof line. While you couldn't necessarily feel it, Obviously, with the roof coming off and those lines on the outside of the vehicle, uh, the wind was obviously coming in through the cracks to some extent, creating a tremendously annoying uh, squeak and noise uh, while we were on the highway just doing normal highway speeds. One of my other complaints about the Bronco is that uh, the complaint that everyone else has, the lack of cup holders. So with the exception of these two right here and the four nets for all four doors, that's the only cup holders you get. Granted, I know it's a big bin model and that's not very high on the uh, trim levels out of the six trims. Some more cup holders would have been appreciated. Even if it was just a cheap little armrest thing that popped down in the back, I do have the extra cup holders that I did get as a Christmas present, but I never got around to installing them, unfortunately. And I don't really think I will be installing them as well. But all in all, I would say that I do love the interior of the Bronco it has been a joy to own uh, it's been a great seat to sit in i love that the doors come off definitely not used to the doors coming off having a removable roof as a whole has been one of my favorite things honestly about driving it uh, i now understand it i i get it i get the whole uh jeep owners and why they love their jeeps and why other and why other cars that have removable roofs and so on uh why those owners love that feature just as much because uh it's great. It's definitely a crowd pleaser uh, as all of my uh, friends and family, as soon as they uh, hop in this thing, one of the first things they want to do, and even my fiance, as soon as we got this pretty much, she's like, hey, can we just go for a drive with the roof off? Uh, it's cool. I also like the overall customizability uh, of the interior. There's a lots, of, lots of different aftermarket options that you can add to these things. Uh, Bronco owners left and right are adding and drilling in different portions of the interior to mount different stuff, uh, which is great. So again, the modularity of this interior, I think is one of the coolest things about it. And I like that the even with the base model, you still get an eight inch touchscreen, which uh, if you guys know from my build series on the F-150, uh, I paid like over a thousand dollars, over $2,000, I think by the time it was all said and done, just for my center console and the touchscreen, just so I could have Apple CarPlay and in the Bronco, uh, even with the second trim, you still get it right off the bat and it's wireless which is great so that about wraps it up for all of my thoughts on the inside of the bronco hi uh it's only been a few months since i filmed this video and i never filmed an outro and i never edited the video until now and the bronco's been sold for a few months um so oops but here's the outro first off so uh thank you very much for sticking around to this point in the video uh, i'll try to keep this brief but lots of words little time um, anyways, like I said, the Bronco has been sold for a few months now. Um, uh, I have my other car, which, uh, hopefully there'll be a video posted soon. We'll see. Um, it's been an absolute blast and I'm, I've got a, a mod list of things that I'm already ready to do to that car. Uh, and there will be videos posted because I've already got two recorded. So we'll see how that goes. But anyways, the Bronco was great. I can't believe that at the time I ordered the Bronco at 25, that I was able to order a brand new vehicle, uh, and then buy the vehicle all in my name and do everything all on my own. Uh, it was really cool to go from beginning until that very short-lived uh, end. But it was fantastic. Building the Bronco was a lot of fun. I, I'm a bit sad that the Bronco wasn't everything that I wanted it to be. It certainly checked a lot of boxes and it was great to have for the time being that I had it. I wish I had it a little bit longer, got to enjoy it during the summer, roof off and all of that. Um, but nonetheless, I'm super thankful to have the life that I have and have the Bronco that I had for, you know, the time that I had it. Uh, there's certainly a lot, a lot of likes about it, but there was certainly, uh, a, quite a few dislikes, which obviously is why I sold it. Plus the fact that I made money on a brand new vehicle. I bought it, 
drove it for eight months and sold it and made a profit. That was pretty cool. Obviously, we live in some, still some pretty wild times. Um, my dog is coming to say hello. Um, but uh, I think that wraps up this, this video. Hi, Teddy. Hi, buddy. Um, and if you're subscribed, uh, thank you so much for still being subscribed, even though I haven't posted in quite some time. Uh, I hope I get back to that, but you know my channel, you never know. And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe, like, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you like or dislike about the Bronco, uh, if you have one, if you don't have one, and what you guys uh, think I should get next if the video is not already posted. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.